o'clock at your house. Bye. <laughs> Wait, if it's five o'clock at your house. Wait, if it's six o'clock at your house. <laughs> Anybody in seven o'clock? Not me. Yeah. Yeah. Any other time zones? Post dinner snack. I'm in two o'clock. Two o'clock. Where are you at for two o'clock? Hawaii. Whoa. Where are they at? Hawaii. Okay. Hawaii. I did not expect the seven. The temperature to be seventy in December. Wow. <laughs> That's <laughs> too hot for this. It actually does really get cool. <laughs> Very thin. Too hot? No. But it's really, really hot in the summer, actually. I bet. What's the temperature like out there in space? I see some astronauts. We're not. Wait, what? Are you guys astronauts, Leah and Max? Uh, yes. NASA. <laughs> NASA astronauts. Nice. What planet are you coming from? Uh, Los Angeles. <laughs> <laughs> that is that is a planet. The Mars. Glitter planet. Mars. 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 What a good planet. Nice. Are you kidding me? Thirty-three people. Pita pizza. Pick me up. I mean. Maddie, who doesn't love a pita pizza? Come uh, on. I, I can't find anybody. That's right. Dr. Clump loves pita pizza. <laughs> Make that 36. What did you think is that? Why are you playing Roblox? <laughs> this is Dr. Clump's voice. Yep. Who's playing Roblox? Roblox. All right, we're gonna let a few more people in and then at about 5.04, we are going to get started with our PETA pizza party pick me up. And we are going to meet all sorts of fun people from camp as well as make some pizzas together. So it's gonna be really fun. I am your hostess. Um, I am Patty Pita Pizza. So, you know, if you have any questions about pizza sauces, pizza recipes, I eat a lot of pizza. No, but look. <laughs> but and and when we do get started, we'll probably That's what people we're gonna, have done. We're gonna mute. We're gonna mute <laughs> everybody. We're gonna mute everybody, so you can follow along on the show. Um, all right, so we got a couple more minutes. And then we'll get started. If you don't have your ingredients handy, go ahead and gather those up right now. Get them out on the table. Because this is like this is like the great, I don't know, what are those cooking shows called? This is kind of like driver or what is it, dive? Divers or drive dive in, drivers. What is that one called? <laughs> dive ins, drive ins and dives. Thank that's you, Aiden. It. Bam. That's, that's exactly it. what I was talking about. Aiden nailed it. I think uh, I think the guy over in the corner there is playing Guy Fieri with the new haircut. Is that Mark over there? Oh, it does look like Guy Fieri. Fieri. I just let it go out during the winter. It's it's time. Keep it warm. It's getting cold here in Florida. It is chilly. I wish I was outside with that fire. Yeah, that looks really fun. nice. Did you say we were starting at um. 504, that was about an hour ago. Oh, uh, that's true. Here in Colorado. Camp time. Camp time. It's not it's not even it's not even three. What? Crazy time to make a pita pizza then. They're actually good you know at what? all Let's, parts of the day. Lunch. We could all just agree that it's pizza time. Oh okay. good pizza one, Maddie. Time. Pizza. <laughs> All right, you guys know what time it is? Pita pizza time. Pita pizza time. 
All right, um, Team Sanborn, if you guys would keep managing the. Uh, when can I start cooking dinner fast? The, the admins. Mm -hmm. We're going to go ahead and mute everybody else um, and go from there. All right. Great. So, as I said, I'm Patricia Pita Pizza, and I just want to say thank you so much to our fabulous host for sponsoring this phenomenal event tonight. Um, we have the Sanborn Gear Shop. Check out the link on the website. Um, we also are really pleased to be sponsored by the High Trails Bakery. They made all the pizza pita that we will be using this evening in all of our recipes. And um, also, of course, Crazy Creek, everyone's favorite camp chair. They don't know their sponsors yet, but we believe in them. So um, full of pizzazz, ready to make some pizza. Um, we're gonna be assembling our pizzas together. So how many people intend to make more than one pizza? If you are, are you cooking dinner tonight for your whole family? Raise your hand. You're cooking dinner for your whole family tonight. Awesome. Okay, good. Good stuff. So, so you might have some, you might have to be, you know, pulling in and out, pulling, pulling the people in your house for what their favorite, their favorite toppings might be. Um, we do have a lot of special pizza makers here up at camp. Um, even though tonight I'm Patricia, normally I'm Ariella and I'm one of the directors at High Trails and I do love pita pizza. We're going to talk about our favorite pita moments. Um, Actually, I have a friend too. I think uh, Elizabeth is somewhere out there. Izzy, what are you up to right now? Me? Uh, what am I doing? I was making her Christmas wreaths too. I, I was gonna put, serve my pita pizza in the wreath. Um, so it smells good. I. How are you making a wreath, Elizabeth? I just went for a little walk in the woods. I pitched some greens and some pine cones, and then I wove a base together in my free time today. And then I just started attaching it with bobby pins that kids left at camp from last summer or two summers ago. So bobby pins and hair ties from the girls camp, and I attach all the greenery to the wreath base um, with that. Well, that seems really amazing. Quite the arts and crafts project. I like to do a lot of things while I'm cooking. Yeah, what else do you like to do? Sometimes I like to eat almonds. Oh, I well, actually that's so funny. We all have some favorite snacks. Um, so actually, go ahead, going at talking about that. Oh, no, where did my favorite snack go? Is it you like almonds? That's nuts. Ha -ha! Someone took my favorite <laughs> snacks because they're, they are somebody else's favorite snacks here in the house. Um, so as you noticed, for those of you who aren't totally familiar, these might appear to be peanut M&Ms. In fact, they're not. Um, these are homesick pills. And I'm homesick for all of you to be at camp. So. <laughs> So that's what I like to eat as my as my snack. Um, Ann and Emily, what do you like to eat? I got to go with a high protein cheese stick for your pre pizza experience. You got to pre cheese before you cheese with the pizza. These are Costco special. They're really delicious. How about you, Maddie? Well, I'll tell you what, um, I don't know if you've noticed, but I've been munching away on popcorn here because popcorn is about the best snack there is. And it just reminds me of the days that we used to go to the movie theater. Remember that? So it's nice to be connected to old, exciting things. Um, Izzy, do you have some snacks? I still have my almonds. That's nuts. Oh, we already did that. Uh, what about you, Jesse? Where are you, Jesse? My favorite snack today is little old Clementine. 
or a cutie or whatever they are because they're so easy to peel. They're the best. I think they're clementines. Clementines? Thanks for the help. Yeah, why doesn't everybody just in the chat throw your um your favorite your favorite snack that you like to eat before dinner? What's your favorite pre-dinner snack? Your your and this is and it doesn't have to be parent approved. <laughs> okay, it's going that way. Olives, Z bars, makes me cookies. hungry. Yeah, it does. Well, it's a good thing we're going to make some pizzas. Um, all right, so the first thing that people need to do is um, you're going to have to decide how you want to cook your pizzas tonight. There are two options. Typically, when we are doing this out in the woods, we cook it on a skillet and you put it. Um, I apparently, I, I did hear from my son today that sometimes you eat them raw, which maybe isn't as delicious as the way we're going to do it tonight. Um, but normally you would cook them on a skillet or maybe a pot lid, use a little squeeze parquet to get that thing greased up and then uh, get it nice and warm and cooked. You may either do it on the, skill, on the stove top tonight or you can do it in the oven. We're gonna do it in the oven at our house. So we've got our little pita pizzas. Carson and I are gonna make some pita. Um, I have some spinach and some sauce and some mushrooms. And I'm probably still gonna have to grate my cheese because I forgot that I hadn't grated cheese yet. So um, just She's get your ingredients. I might what? You're a little bit of a TV show rookie. You've only like practiced over a fire and the camera probably threw you off and that's why you don't have your cheese grated. Yeah, I'm not a professional. I'm not a professional talk cooking show host just yet, but I, I am, this is my interview process. So remember it's Patricia Pita pizza tonight. Um, so, but before everybody gets started, I don't know if you know this cool thing about Zoom. Some of you are on Google Meet, some of you are on Zoom. Um, if you go down to the stop video, don't click that because we want to see your faces. But if you go down to the stop video and you click on that little arrow, you'll see choose video filter if you have an updated version of Zoom, which I bet you do. We want everybody to find, if you don't, I mean, there's some costumes out there. We see some astronauts, see some pretty cool hats. Pick your favorite Zoom filter. You know, mess around. I myself, kind of in the spirit, I think if I don't make it as a, as a cooking show host, I'm gonna be a reindeer. That's gonna be my next job right Me here. Too. Oh, uh, yeah, because Izzy and I like each other. We like being reindeers together. So How pick do you your fit. How do you do it? So it's down there at the stop video and you click on the arrow and then choose video filter. Or choose virtual background. Yep. Yep. You can do a virtual background or you can choose a video filter. Um, the video the video filters give you the little hats and sunglasses and other sort of fun, like it's like an Insta costume. Really at camp, we love costumes. So, I mean, this is kind of fun because maybe I don't feel like being a reindeer anymore. And I would prefer to be a really awesome, uh, actually, that's not what I wanted. I didn't want to be a spectrum. I wanted, I wanted the ski goggles. Where are those? Oh yeah, right there. Cause that's what I'm going to do later. I'm going to go skiing. All right, so we get on your favorite video filter and yeah. uh, there you go. So now I think Emily has a cool um, poll question because when we make pita pizzas, you have a couple of options because as we know, pita pizzas are flatbreads. Could make a nice frizzy, um, but also the cool thing about a pita, you cut that in half, break it in half, oh, it's a pocket. You put stuff in it, mm -hmm. yes. However, pita pizzas are very personal. There's a lot of peas in this presentation. 
Um, so some people like to put the pizza sauce on top of the pita and cook it like that. Some people like to put it inside. So Emily's gonna share a poll with you for you to answer. How are you gonna make your pita tonight? Are you gonna build it on the top of the pita? Or are you gonna put it inside? You can figure it out. I believe in you. Hey, Ari. Hey, what's Maddie. Up? Hey, what's up? Um, I noticed that Mark didn't get any snacks and I felt bad. So I wanted to share my popcorn with him. I'm up here in Victor, Idaho. Um, and uh, we figured out a new Zoom feature where Mark can actually watch this. Watch, check this out. Mark, you want some? It's right here, buddy. Look at that. Fluffy and beautiful. All right, so I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and put it in the Zoom transport tater. Let's see. Okay, there it is. That should be arriving on your side very soon. I've got I've got a I've got a couple a couple of things of popcorn here that came through somehow. There it is. There it is. It's all let's be for it. I appreciate that, Maddie. That's my favorite snack for sure. I'm also you can never leave home without a full Nutrigrain bar, which I somehow have a lifetime sponsorship to. So that's my other snack. But I appreciate the, uh, the popcorn, Maddie. That's super healthy. So um, I'm not sure, did everybody get to answer the poll question? Nope, not so much yet. That's okay because, you know, we're a tech-free camp and so we don't always know how things on Zoom work, except Maddie obviously has the Zoominator Popinator. Um, it, keeps but, on one of those, it keeps on asking us the question. Oh, it does ask you a question. <laughs> no, it keeps on doing it. It keeps on doing it. That, I might have clicked something that closed it and then it asked again and then it closed. <laughs> okay, every time that it asks you the question, are you able to answer the question? Me? No, any, anybody else. Oh. You can see the question, click an answer, and then we'll talk about it at the end. It looks like right now we have 23 out of 33 people who've answered it. So that's pretty oh, good. You can see that because yeah, I that's, that's a good theory. voting rate. Oh, good. That's why I keep clicking it again and again and again. <laughs> so what are the results? Yeah, Maddie, tell us what's, what are the results? Well, it's pretty impressive, and it's a landslide. Um, for on top of the pita, what? not inside. Uh, oh, it's 74%, and, and this, uh, this is very topical, 74% of the vote went to um, put it on top of the pita. Only six people or 26% of the crew here uh, puts it on the inside, which you got to respect. You really do. I'm very surprised, but I'm intrigued. Are you really? What's your method, Em? Oh, I I love putting it inside. Then you can fry both sides. They get a little crispy. Sometimes cheese gets on the outside. Mm, so good. Awesome. Hey, Je Jesse, would you be interested in uh, walking us through your pita pizza assembly process? Hey, sure thing. I think I was thinking it really hard. I've been, let's see, 14 summers at camp. And I think I have pita pizzas on every single trip I go on, which means at least I've made 417 million and a half pita pizzas in my whole life. Tonight, I thought I would do something a little different. I'm gonna use a tortilla. And in order to make my tortilla fit in my pan, it had to be pizza shaped to begin with. It's time to try new things, right? So you gotta have your crust, right? Does everybody have their crust? We good to go? Okay, you PETA folks, you have to make that all important decision first. If you're gonna stuff it, or if you're gonna put it on top, you can't change your mind halfway through. It doesn't work. So make sure you make the decision. Everybody have their crust ready to go? Yeah. All right, okay, what comes next? What's the deal? Sauce. All right, we got some sauce. Personally, I like to slather it kind of thin. Oh. Just enough sauce so you can taste it. I like to use 
the back of my spoon, kind of get it to the edges. All right. Now for sauces, if you go to the grocery store, they make pre-made sauces. You can also, I learned, just get a tomato and mash it up. So maybe you try that tonight. All right, are we getting sauced? All right, okay, now, depends, I've learned, on which side of the country you're on as to whether the cheese comes next or the toppings comes next. Personally, I like the cheese both times. So I got my crust here. I got my little bit of cheese. We're gonna cheese it up. All right. Little bit of cheese, a lot of cheese. You pick. If you're helping make them for your family, make sure you ask them what they think. Everybody can have their own section, right? Okay. We got the cheese. Next comes the really good stuff. Tonight, I have little bit of sausage that I cooked up earlier. And I have pineapples, because I just happen to have a pineapple in my fridge. So that's what's going on my pizza. I'm gonna sprinkle sausage on. Tell me in your chat, what's your favorite topping? Or maybe if your hands are all greasy now, find a friend to help you. Whoa, pepperonis. Gotta love some pepperonis. Always pepperoni. Always pepperonis. I just didn't have any. All right. I think I'm gonna go with pineapple right there and a little bit more cheese on top because I can because it's my pizza. All right. Now, Ariella warned everybody in the email if you're using the oven to preheat it, right? If you're using the stove, I recommend you use a skillet, like a frying pan that you would fry an egg in. And I recommend using low to medium heat so that you don't burn the bottom before the top is cooked. And put a lid on it. Keep all that heat in there working really well. Now, the other trick is to pay close attention so you don't burn it, OK? And I think in a few minutes, we'll have some pizza, huh? Yes, Maddie, um, I'm interested in what's on like Mark's pizza, what Anne and Anne are making, what is on Maddie's pizza. Maddie made some homemade pita today. And I know Maddie also has some ideas about cooking and safety that are important as well. Well, thanks, Ariella. I think, or Patty, sorry about that. I think, uh, um, when you do your your pita um, fresh, they pop up like balloons. Um, so I always flip mine back over and push it back down so it creates a little valley right there in the middle. And that way you can get all your good stuff put right in the middle. So right now you see I've got one from the inside for all of my inside the pita friends. I've got one on top with cheese and one on top I'm going without cheese. Um, and then uh, Jesse, you, you, I think you are absolutely right about the temperature of your pan if you're going pan uh, pita, pizza on this one. So, um, but I'm going to also, I'm doing the oven uh, because we are indoors and it's a little more civilized. Um, I'm going to go ahead with the oven at about 350 degrees um, and spread my sauce. It, you know, it's important. I don't know if you guys know this about pizzas, but your pizza, when your cheese melts on top of your pizza, it all goes towards the middle. So if you don't spread the cheese out to the edges and leave it kind of spaced out in the middle, you just end up getting a puddle of cheese in the middle. So be really careful about spreading your cheese all to the edges. It's like, you know that peanut butter and jelly sandwich that you make and, and it, the, the stuff doesn't get to the edges and you're like, it just doesn't, it doesn't work that way. So I'm going with this one. I got one that's gonna be cheeseless because somebody, in our house doesn't like the dairy. Um, so here we go. That's my guys right there. And when you go into the oven, you can also get something, this is called a Silpap, but you can get some parchment paper or something that'll keep it from sticking to your pan, which is kind of a nice thing. So I'm gonna take you guys on a little trip across the kitchen here. 
We've got the oven all heated up and ready to go. I'm gonna drop these in. Make sure if you're in charge of the oven that you stay really clear of the edges and all the pieces that are gonna burn you and bite you. And you drop that in there. And just depending on where you are, see I'm in Idaho right now, I'm in Victor, Idaho. And it's, uh, we're talking about um, probably 7,200 feet. So what I do is mathematically, I take the altitude and I triangulate the demodulization and I subtract that from the original recipe, which allows me to know that that's gonna be a 12 minute bake. Thank Is that in Martha Stewart's new cookbook? <laughs> yes, yes, it is. Uh, you, you picked somebody who I'm uh, just absolutely a fan of. So that, yeah, it's, it's in Martha Stewart's cookbook. It's, uh, it's called um, Baking uh, from, the, from the Inside, uh, cell block three. So um, there you go, Ariella. That's, uh, that's what I got on the safety side of things. Well, thanks, Maddie. Um, your your baking math is is quite amazing. I just thought you had to add a little extra flour at altitude, but who knew about the triangulation decomposition angle effect? Um, so um, let's see, where are we in our process? Well, I just want to say, you know, it's people, important oh. to stay in school. I, I, I was just going to point out, it's important to stay in school. You learn those types of things in school and school is awesome. And I love it. So, hey, Anne and Emily, tell us a little bit about the pizza you all are making over there in your, in your chef's hat. I know this is such a good feature. I haven't used this one before. Um, so similarly to Jesse, we've got some leftover sausage in the fridge. So decided to cook that up and we're whipping up this, wow, that looks really, really good actually i made it <laughs> i've been looking at the zoom um we're whipping let me see if i can get the, a good computer angle here can everyone see that uh we had bernie make us a homemade dough earlier so we have a homemade pizza dough bernie if you didn't know is um the baker at high trails and we're sponsored by the high trails bakery so we figured we should probably use some of their products in zoom um, we've got some sausage, two different kinds of cheese. One is the Italian blend from Safeway, and one is mozzarella. <laughs> and oh, some onion as well. What does everybody else got on their pizza? Drop it on the, in the chat. I see some really good looking pizzas out there. Leo, we're yeah. back headed to your house for dinner. Yeah, show us your show us your pizzas. Oh, nice. Oh, those are great. Oh, some people have multiple kinds. I like that. Perfectly spaced pepperonis. Well yeah, that's done. Nice. That looks like a restaurant. My house is starting to smell like pizza. Wow, Mark, what's on there? That looks really good. Sorry, I, have to I can't get mine on the screen without spilling it. That's tough to do. I first just want to say it's so nice to see all these familiar faces. Um, uh, we're so excited for summer already, but um, we're so happy you could join us tonight. Um, and my pizza is uh, a little mix mash of whatever was in the fridge, some olives, some sweet peppers, some glasses are on my pizza somehow. Uh, some sprouts, obviously. Why not keep it healthy here and there? Uh, mushrooms and some jalapeno peppers. So <clears throat> I'm choking on popcorn because I've eaten an entire bowl of popcorn uh, since we started this. So I don't know if I'm actually going to have enough room for this pizza, but I'm still pretty excited. Well, you know, I Mark Mark got kind of excited about the snack thing, and he like did this like tear around the whole camp. I don't know if you all missed him. I, I mean, he moved so fast. Like he did some sort of Santa Sanborn thing and ended up in Idaho um, to sample. Well, they did the, actually they did that teleporter thing. So um, they've got a, they've got an insider, insider Zoom thing. And Mark, Mark was going to sample all of the snacks from the Sanborn crew and, and, and make a call because, you know, we like, we like 
competitions. Oh, look at that snack spread right there. And so he's gonna, he's gonna let us know who has the best pre-dinner snack. Mark, you need to commentate now. I'm sorry, I'm still busy eating. There's just too many snacks here to choose from. Um, I have to say the Clementine was probably the most refreshing. Um, and so that was terrific. The cheese, there's, there's already a lot of cheese going on tonight. So I'm, I'm just, I'm sorry, N and M, but I, I think that's gotta be the first to go out, out of here. Um, even though I do love cheese sticks, the almonds are an everyday snack for me. And these ones are fairly salty, pretty good. Um, popcorn, I don't, there's so many just tough choices. I, I don't know how I couldn't go with the, with the M&Ms that I was able to capture from Aries house. But um, yeah, you can't, you can't really go hard, wrong. But I like my snacks to be well balanced, just like my meals. So I'm happy with a plethora of choices during dinner to just snack on. So everybody's a winner in my book, you know? Did you put M&Ms on your pizza? No, no, I just, I just eat them. No, I, I eat them while I'm making my pizza, but Mark should put some on his because they go well with the sprouts. I'll give it a shot. You know, I'll try anything. Usually, <clears throat> as a New Yorker, I, I can't really uh, disrespect the pizza process, but we're trying new things tonight. So I'll, I'll put my M&Ms on that pizza and see what happens. I wouldn't Forget suggest about it. it at home. Forget about it. Expert pizza makers only. Do you like Among Us? Kai, can you explain? Do you like Among Us? You guys, some of you guys have heard of the video game Among Us. I have heard it, I have not played it. Sorry, don't mean to say. I mean, I played it at recess in person, where you all line yeah, up and you, some person picks the imposter and that person just spectates for the whole game. Wow, oh, that's somebody from the game. Got it. It's all coming together now. Thanks, Kai. My character. Oh, my good to see you, by the way. Oh, and speaking of fun questions to ask each other, I think I think while our pizzas are in the oven or we're finishing up our preparation, um, I'm interested in in uh, we're going to throw some questions in the chat and and talk a little bit about um, you know the upcoming holidays and what we're doing and like how we're getting ready, what, you know, our wishes are. But first we're gonna talk about our favorite holiday movie. So throw your favorite holiday movie into the chat. Yay. <laughs> Home Alone, oh, these are great. Elf, also excellent. Definitely Home Alone, definitely Home Alone. Home Alone. Home Alone. <laughs> Every time it's Home Alone. Every yep. time. Every time. Christmas Story, Die Hard. I, I think Die Hard is it. <laughs> How long do they go in the oven? I like Home Alone. Home Alone. Home Alone. A Charlie Brown Christmas. I like that. Christmas Vacation. Always a classic. Yep. Ooh, yes. Elf all the way. Do the go in the oven? Rudolph the Red the Grinch stole Christmas. Hello. Yep, the Grinch stole Christmas. That's an excellent one. Christmas story. Don't shoot your eye out. That's a rule at camp too. Um, so let's see. Vacation. Excellent. All right. So the next question is, what is your favorite holiday tradition? Ooh, I like Nightmare Before Christmas too. So what is your favorite holiday tradition? So throw it in the chat and we'll check it out. Oh, I just said, what is your fave? Well, whatever. You know how to type it in chat? Yeah, hit the chat button. And then you just type. And when you hit enter. What's your favorite thing that we do every year? What? Just the car pictures. Wow. Getting the Christmas tree. <laughs> so, um, 
Ann or M, what is your favorite holiday tradition? Mine is that um, every year, even though some people are adults, we wear matching Christmas pajamas. And it's really fun. We get a different kind every year and you get to open it the night before and it's pretty hilarious. What's your favorite thing that we do every hey, year? Hey, mommy, look at the L. Is it because you really celebrate? What do you like to do, Ann? Uh, every year, my family, we watch Christmas Vacation as soon, as soon as humanly possible. So as soon as we are all together, that's the first thing we do. I like Christmas Vacation. Um, one of my favorite movies is National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. It's a good one. What is your favorite tradition, Mark? <laughs> Sorry, that was my dog. Uh, Mine aren't as exciting. They're usually involved getting out of the house. Uh, sledding. Uh, um, snow football, if there's enough snow. Like the, like oh, that cool guy that made fire when he sledded down <laughs> in Christmas vacation. He, he... I've never been able to do that before. Just but... enjoying Earth's atmosphere. Yeah. Look. Snorkeling. Nice mustache, Maddie. What's your favorite uh, Christmas tradition or holiday tradition? You know, Em, thanks for asking. I, uh, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and go with, uh, I just heard somebody say snorkeling. That would be a new one for me. Um, but uh, um, I, I have to say, personally, with, with Mark, there's nothing better than getting out on a sledding hill and just letting it, letting it rip. So whoever was talking about the Clark Griswold sled on the new Teflon that was catching fire, that's, that's, that's the kind of sledding hill and sledding trip I like to have. Yeah, I really want that. Amen. Except for I don't want to crash. <laughs> Who knows how you could get that type of policy put on it? I don't know where you can put the Mark when you're when you're out sledding, do you like to do the do you like to do the uh, like the the checkers or the wreckers? Do you like to get to the bottom of the hill smooth or do you like to just throw it and crash halfway down? Um, I like to just crashing, but I like to get, I like to go down and just fly off of it. I want to I like crashing at the bottom. I like exploding my sled. When is it? <laughs> Exciting events that we would do is take somebody would drop it <laughs> on top of the ski resort and we would sled down the ski resort at night on a very gradual run, a green run. But that was still pretty fast for a sled. Well, it would be, well, it would be fun if you went on a ski hill and sled on it. Well, it would also be fun is pinning some of the snowballs from a sled. What if you strapped rocket jets to your skis? <laughs> Oh, okay. Okay, you you might kill yourself. That would be epic. <laughs> yeah, bro. I don't think I would want to strap rocket ships to my side. Has it is the pizza done? Is the pizza done yet? That's what I'm wondering. Have you checked? I, I think this is pretty close to being done. I think it's no. Kind of There's a brown furry thing by us. David, are you hungry right now? Mine's already yeah. done. Yeah, mine's done. done. There are people with pizza. I'm hungry. I'm definitely hungry. We're getting there. There's a brown furry thing by us for some weird reason. Is he ready Can for the dog? I don't even see a brown furry thing. All right, so before we finish our pizzas in the oven or in the pan, we have another fun little poll question for you. Hopefully this time it won't pop up. I'll only press the button one time. Um, and the question is, which meal is your favorite- See, there was a, a brown furry thing. Sanborn. And if you've never been to Sanborn before, no worries. Think about what would be your favorite meal if you were camping out. Um, and I think it's Sanborn. My favorite, my favorite meal was when I had spaghetti and I was going camping. 
So good, right? There's nothing like a pasta meal. Camping? All right, Sanborn team, is anybody getting the results? <laughs> <laughs> I, I got the results down. Oh, sweet Betty. We've already got 19 people um, who have voted. Now 20. There's 80% of the people out there have voted. That's a good percentage. That is I'm going to give good. the early poll reports, okay? Starting at the bottom at 15%, something else, and I will write it in chat. That's 15%. So that's the that's the self-directed crowd. Yeah, yeah. We've got banana boats and grilled cheese sandwiches. Nice. Coming in at 10%, two voters said fajitas. Five said spaghetti and marinara. That's 25% of our crew. Uh, we got 10 people. Uh, sorry, no, we had two people. 10% of our folks say pad thai. The largest percentage of people say their favorite camping trip pizza uh, uh, food is pita pizza. Pita well, pizza I'm everyone's on this Zoom because that feels really appropriate. It does. <laughs> Thanks for the report. That sounds awesome. Hey, happy to help. Well, cool. How's has, have people tried their pizzas yet? I'm looking. It looks like I see some chewing. Yeah, I, I haven't tried it yet. Do, do you think it's it. done? Is it done? Ooh, um, I think we got to be close. According to Maddie's um, magic calculation, I think it's close. Um, I do love, I do love the breakfast crepe option. Um, I'm gonna check, I'm gonna check my pita pizzas right now. Maddie, how are yours looking? Our pizzas are done. And they taste good. They taste wonderful. I don't want to brag, but that mathematical equation, triangulating the demodulization, uh, seems to have worked out quite fine. So, yeah, was it? How's yours looking? Mine's looking divine and delightful and a little hot right now. Um, so, oh, somebody is full. This guy. Um, and because I just took pizza out of the oven and it smells really nice in my kitchen, I'm curious: are there any smells? that you typically associate with the holidays? Um, is there anything that makes you say, wow, it's, it's the holiday season? Um, so throw that in the chat. That's our next chat question. Is there any particular smell that reminds you of the holidays? Turkey. Christmas tree, pine, turkey, cinnamon. Oh, that's so funny you'd say that. I have this neat little tree that is made of like it has cinnamon cinnamon and glue ornaments on it. Don't eat them, but they smell good. I don't know how to make these. My mom did it for me. You know, it's a mom thing. Gingerbread. Ooh, candle wax. Vanilla. Little baking action. Turkey again. Sweet. Okay, this is this is this is a telling experience. I'm specifically looking at um, my nieces, Nella and Keegan McCaffin, on this one. Who in your family would be the first to start a snowball fight? Throw that in the chat. Who's the first person in your family to start a snowball fight? Definitely me. Definitely me. <laughs> the second they walk out the door, they're so, Dominic, so. Anna, Anna, Anna immediately throws Dominic under the bus. <laughs> Me for certain. It's you guys are fierce. Oh, end up throwing snowballs. Oh, Timmy, Timmy, uh, um, Emily is interested in this because of Timmy and Will trying to figure out who who would be the first so she can she can watch out this winter. Yeah, we're gonna challenge you to a nice old snowball fight. So. Watch out. Oh, yeah, yeah. Probably. <laughs> the captain say Uncle Jeff and Granddad Steve. That's good. That's good. Yep, Carson agrees. That's good. Oh, gingerbread and pine. We're still doing yummy, delicious smell. Yummy. Yummy, delicious smells. Of gingerbread. Yummy, delicious smells. Um, okay, so this is, this is an interesting one. And this is one you have to think about. This is one you like take a few like contemplative bites of your pita pizza. Oh. 
And just think about for a minute. If you could give someone you love very much um, anything in the world as a present, what, what would it be? Who would you give it to? Anything in the world. Just take a few bites to think about it. I would probably give my friend Cash a set of graphic pencils. Awesome. Since I know he likes to draw. That's really thoughtful. I love to draw. <laughs> Me too. You can I would cookies, give... cookies for your brother. I like that. You can put it in the chat. That's great. I, give, I would give my mom a new mask. Oh, a new mask. Do you not? Do you don't care for her mask? What? Oh. Did you see? Um, Anne and Emily just had a little friend in their in their in their video. It's a little a little Mabel. You you a think that Mabel. sometimes it's a little Mabel? Let's see, little Mabel. Come here, Mabel. She's now not happy. Oh, she doesn't care for that. Here again later. Oh, cool new sunglasses. Baby sister Chloe is dog stuffy. My mom a new mask. Bye, Livy. Love you. I would give Mabel a bunch of peanut butter. What does Mabel's mouth? What does Mabel's face look like when she eats peanut butter, Emily? <laughs> Sort of like that, sort of like a human. You might feel when you're eating peanut butter. Um, my dog. Uh, I have a dog. Her name is Puddles. What would what would Puddles like for Christmas? Oh, she's a golden retriever, and she has. She's like. What sure. Oh, she was like a big fat bone. Oh, big fat bone. There you go. I know that somebody's going to give their dog a cream cheese. She knows she I'm talking about her. About her. Oh, no, so, that's great. That's awesome. Um, I see uh, lots of people eating pizza now. How is it? Maybe we should do a Zoom pizza cheers. <laughs> Ready? On one, three, two, one. Cheers! Yeah. Cheers! Pizza! <laughs> Pizza! Mmm! That's delicious. We're gonna have some professional pita pizza cookers for next summer. Mark, do I get anything for winning the snack challenge? Because Obviously, the homesick pills are like the best snack ever. I have a stash of uh, fruit roll-ups for some reason, and I'll make sure to deliver them just as quickly as I was able to pop over and grab a snack. So this is your reward. You could share with the family. You know? Thank you. I'm I'm really excited. I'll send them out to California. At some point. Okay. Sounds Maybe. good. Uh, I'm full. I ate all my pizza in about three that's seconds. What, I've that's had what Kai said. Kai said he's full. I was only making for me. I'm almost, I'm only about halfway done with the first quarter of my pita pizza. I'd su I'd suggest you eat it nice and slow so you don't get a tummy ache like I have right now, especially with those oh. M's on the pizza. It wasn't a great idea. Chocolate and pizza. Half a quarter, though. What's that? My stomach hurt no. last night after I eat like two pounds of beef. Bye, Love you. So, how many how many people's families are enjoying their pita pizzas? You can do the little. If you go down to the reaction bar at the bottom of Zoom, you can do a little hand clap. If anybody's making pitas, thumbs up, little heart. You can do all sorts of little reactions down there, which is fun. My family's enjoying their pizza. Um, There's a dog. Oh! Puddles. Her name is Puddles. That is a very so cute, cute name. That's a very cute dog. 
Mark's in an old style television because he thinks he might be on uh, like an old Western show with his with his Guy Fiore hat. Well, team, you know, this has been this has been fantastic. And we've loved making pita pizzas with you. And now you too have a great Wednesday meal or Tuesday or Monday, whenever you need um, a little pick me up or a little bit of camp. Make yourselves and your family some pita pizzas. You know how to do it now. It's easy peasy, mac and cheesy. Um, but actually, it's easier than mac and cheese because you have to drain the pasta and stuff. This is easier. So make yourselves some pita pizzas. Make your family some pita pizzas. You don't have to use this pita, but you can use other pitas like it. And um, don't forget, next Thursday night, we are doing a super fun Sanborn Silly Song um, caroling sing-along. Um, on Zoom, we're going to send out some funny lyrics to, uh, you know, some holiday tunes that you might recognize. And we'll get together and say hello and sing a few silly songs. Um, we might even go outside because that's what you do when you carol. You wander around and sing to each other in the out of doors. Um, we're going to send that Zoom link to you very soon. Um, but happy to holidays, everyone. Bye. 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 For the first time. Can't wait. We're, we're looking forward to having them. I'm going to leave. Leave. Hey, bye, guys. Bye. I'm leaving. Bye. We'll miss you. See ya. Bye, bye team. Have a good night. Bye, Clara. Bye. Have a good school day tomorrow. Whatever it looks like, in person, bye, online. I am by Anne. Bye, yeah. Kai. Hey, did you guys know you just had had to jumping between your heads? <laughs> kind of awesome. It would recognize a head and it would jump there. <laughs> it's like a magic joke. It's like Shoot the hat. <laughs> there you go. All right, bye. we're gonna say good night. Shutting down. Good night, Kai. Thank you. Yeah. Bye. See you, see you next summer. Yeah, see you next summer or on Thursday. <laughs> Bye. 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 <laughs> All right. They obviously didn't know we were waiting.